Good morning, everyone. I'm really curious if you can tell the difference between my normal videos and this video. I'm using my phone on this video instead of my camera because my camera is charging. Now, see, when I look at myself, I feel like I look normal, but I don't know. I felt like sometimes my camera phone reversed me. I don't, don't ask me. Who knows? I'm going to pour one of these Element Chocolate Mints. Yes, I got the mint in my hot water here. I've already had enough coffee, but I do need my Element. Pour that in. I do need this this morning because I'm going to work out today. And I've mentioned this a lot. When I utilize this, I just feel better. My workout's better. I feel better all day. I avoid fatigue. I avoid the restless leg syndrome. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells like I put a couple of those Andes chocolate mints in my coffee, but this is hot water. It is like Christmas. I'm telling you, if you have not tried these, they're good. Now, I know some of you have said it's a bit of an acquired taste for you. See, for me, the health benefits, these just work for me. If you have a restless leg syndrome, if you get fatigue, if you go to the pool a lot, if you go to the beach, if you walk in the heat, try these packets. I'll leave a link right here and down in the description box. With any drink mix purchase, you get a free eight-pack sampler so you can try out all the different flavors. I can't say enough about the chocolate. I've said it a lot. I love it. All right, so today we're going to be talking about why I do a low-carb lifestyle. And we're not going to be talking about the fact that I'm trying to get rid of the pre-diabetes thing. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the out-and-out benefits that I personally feel in doing a low-carb way of eating. So I'm going to tell you why this works for me, and maybe some of this will resonate with you, and it might be the silver bullet that you have been looking for. I hope so. Anyway, all right, so the first thing is when I am really dug in, diving in head first on low carb, I am very, very aware of what I'm eating. I read labels. I look for the sugar. I look at the carb count. I make sure that the serving size is what it should be. I look at the fiber. I look to see if there's sugar alcohol in the product, if it's something sweet. I look at the calories. I read the label. I'm so much more aware of what I'm eating when I'm doing low carb. So I'm very, very aware of what I'm eating. And that helps me stay on track and stay motivated. And also, in my opinion, the more you know, the more you can be successful. Because sometimes you discover little things that could be sabotaging your diet and you don't even realize it until you put it together. Maybe you're eating way too many things with sugar alcohol. Maybe you get a stomach ache when you eat certain things and you don't know what's doing it and then you can draw a correlation like I did. You know, I easily drew a correlation that maltitol, my body doesn't like it. I can do most of the sweeteners, but that one I can't. I get stomach cramps any time that I eat it. So I'm far more aware of what I'm eating and what's in the foods that I'm eating. Low carb and intermittent fasting go hand in hand so well. If you really want to jumpstart your diet plan, your weight loss, combine intermittent fasting with low carb. You will be so surprised at the results that you get. You feel immediate benefits from it. And by that, I mean things like you lose that anxiety feeling. If you know what I mean, you know, it's one of those things that if you don't have it, it's not going to resonate. But if you are a person that gets kind of anxious, jittery, maybe your heart races a bit here and there, you don't know why, you eat a meal and your heart beats hard and you always thought that was normal, I don't get that at all when I'm really dug into low carb and I'm really doing it the right way and not kind of sliding off the road a little bit here and there. When I am really paying attention, I don't get that. And I think it's because my body is processing the foods the way that it's supposed to. They go in my mouth, they go through my body the way they're supposed to. The good nutrients go to where they're supposed to, the bad stuff comes out. There you are. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. 
what I used to do was, let's just say I would eat spaghetti with a salad. Every single time I would do that, especially if it was the first meal that I ate, I would get a racy, zingy sort of feeling, and I never understood what that was. I would say to Kevin, do you get that after you eat? After you have spaghetti and meat sauce and a salad, if we went out to eat, do you get that racy feeling? And he would always say, it's just your body metabolizing your food. Everybody gets that. But everybody doesn't get that, and he's diabetic, by the way. So... It, it has made me so aware of how food works in my body. So as you know, I do intermittent fasting. So if a typical day looks like this, which many times it does, let's say I stop eating at 7, 7.30 in the evening, and then I start eating again the next day about noon, and that first meal is, let's say, two eggs and some turkey sausage. I will have no zingy effect, no anxiety effect, no moody thing going on, energy crash, none of that. It just processes the food the way that it's supposed to. And then let's say for lunch, I have a huge cob salad with, you know, ranch dressing and ham and things like that. Same thing, totally stable. I feel completely stabilized, no blood sugar up and down, nothing like that. And then for dinner, Maybe you have a big chicken breast with some butter, a little bit of garlic, some green beans. You can even have an unsweetened applesauce if you want to, because at that point, you have not eaten many carbs whatsoever. That, to me, what I just outlined for you, feels like a great day. And that is something that really leads to weight loss for me. I do not count calories. Why? Because if I did, everybody wants to say, if you're in a calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight. Okay, fine. I agree with you. But then why do you tell me to eat more food? Tell me that. Why do you tell me that I'm not losing any weight because I'm not eating enough? Because if you just got through telling me that I have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, then why are you telling me that I'm not eating enough food to lose weight? These things keep me up at night. Eating low carb helps me lose my sweet cravings. Now, I have a vicious sweet tooth. I definitely do. But for me, when I don't eat that stuff, I don't crave that stuff. So it's one of those things that, do I know what hot brownies taste like? Yes. But the more time and distance I get away from the hot brownies, the less likely I am to think about them. For example, people say to me often, you, how could you not eat seafood? You don't like lobster with butter and garlic sauce. You don't like shrimp cocktail. You don't like fried catfish. First of all, I have never had any of those things. I have no point of reference. I have no idea what they taste like. The only point of reference I have is the very few times that I've accidentally ingested those things. And when I have, it's been awful. I had it happen recently, about a month ago, when I accidentally ingested fish sauce in a chicken dish. There was something I bought at Trader Joe's. If you watch my channel, you know. It literally felt like I was swallowing cotton balls. Very off-putting. No idea what it tasted like, but that's why I carry an EpiPen. So it's kind of the same thing. I have no point of reference there. And the longer I don't eat things, the longer I don't eat things like brownies or cupcakes or whatever, the more I just stop craving them. And on that note, the other big advantage to low carb is now that I'm not eating those things as often. Now, I will have to say at this point in time, not at all. I'm not eating them at all because I have 90 days where I'm really trying to work through the little bit of a crisis I'm in with my blood sugar. So I'm trying to get rid of my anemia and also I'm going, I am low carb right now. I am full blown low carb. No cheating is harming me, period. End of story. So I'm not having that stuff at all right now, but the longer I go not having it, the more sweet things actually taste real. So strawberries taste like strawberries. Blueberries taste like blueberries. 
not that artificial strawberry flavor, the artificial lemon flavor, whatever that is. It's like my taste buds are reinvigorated because they're having the real thing. They remember what the real thing tastes like. And the real thing doesn't taste that fake. You know how sort of like coconut tastes like, fake coconut tastes like lipstick to me. But real coconut, which I also don't like, by the way, but they don't taste the same at all. I naturally eat better when I'm low carb. I have to. I have to lean on fat and protein. So I have more chicken. I have more turkey. I have more vegetables. I also see results when I go low carb. I immediately see results. I physically feel better. The weight starts to come off. Generally, it's around one to two pounds per week, which is perfect. The weight comes off naturally. It's not a difficult weight loss because when you're eating things like butter and cream and cheese, when you're able to kind of jazz up your food with those things, it doesn't feel like a low fat, low cal diet at all. It just doesn't. It feels like you're giving your body what it wants. You know, sometimes you eat a bunch of food and you're still not satisfied. You feel like I still need something. I'm missing something. You get sort of that empty thing because your body is craving something. Many times that is fat. And by fat, I mean butter or cream or cheese or olive oil or avocados or maybe some walnuts. There's good fat and there's garbage fat. I'm not going to go eat a bunch of bacon grease. I hardly ever eat bacon. I try to eat things in terms of fat that are true healthy fat. Olive oil is the big one for me. When I'm low carb, I don't worry about the olive oil. Now, I don't soak things in olive oil because that is not how things are supposed to taste. So those are the reasons that low carb is really working for me right now. I hope and I'm very encouraged. I'm cautiously optimistic. So I'm cautiously optimistic that this is going to work. I am definitely going to give you all my blood work numbers when I do this. It's going to be three months. So I have, I've got two weeks in. I've got quite a ways to go, but I am a hundred percent committed to this. One hundred percent committed to it. So I will definitely let you know what my numbers look like when I get my blood work done again. It was not good before. Hopefully it's significantly better this time. Like I said, I am anemic and I'm working on that. And I know that anemia and higher blood sugar numbers, they do go hand in hand. So I'm trying to come at both of them at the same time. I'll let you know how that works out. But all of these other reasons, non-health related, these are the things that I like so much about eating low carb and you may love it just as much as well.